Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys this very bronzy and glowy look that I did. And if you guys want to see how I got this glowy look, please keep on watching. So I already did my eyebrows and my foundation and concealer and powder off camera because that's just basic. I feel like everybody knows how to do that by now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this Morphe bronzer and it is called Mega Star and it looks like this. And since we are going for a bronzy look today, then I'm going to go ahead and just apply some bronzer and also so you guys I'm in a group on Facebook and it's um run by this girl named Ophelia Jeanette and she is super nice because um she actually reached out to me f on Twitter and she told me um, that she was going to make this group for small YouTubers. And she wanted me to join. And I was like, oh my god, yes. Because I feel like I have no YouTube friends at all. So I was like, oh my god, that's perfect. Because literally, um, sometimes I want to ask people questions and and stuff like that. And I don't have any, any friends that do YouTube. So just the fact that she reached out to me and telling me like, oh, I'm going to do um, small YouTube uh youtubers group and i was like yes like i needed that so um i did ask the girls um to send me some questions and while i get ready i'm gonna go ahead and answer these questions so i'm gonna just leave my phone in front of me and then we're gonna go ahead and use this bronzer that i told you guys by morphe and it is actually it actually looks like this and it comes with the mirror also so that's just perfect and we're gonna go ahead with the first question um by nicole um she asked how old are you and i am 24 and my birthday is on june 23rd so therefore i turned 25 this year um and i'm a cancer for you uh, those of you that are wondering um and then she also asked, oh, what's your favorite color? So I think by now, I think you guys know. No, I don't think you guys know my favorite color. Um, my favorite color is like blush pink, like baby pink. Any kind of pink, but not really. I don't really like like um, dark pink. I just really like light pink. Um, and she also asked me where are you from and i am from long beach california um i was born here and also raised um by the way i'm just applying this bronzer on my forehead a lot because i have a big forehead um so i just go in circular motions because you don't want to just swipe like that because then you're gonna have the line right here which is not cute so i'm gonna just go ahead and just Go in circular motions and then she also asked what are your favorite what are your hobbies so of course makeup i love love doing makeup or just practicing looks love watching movies movies are my thing especially comedy movies like i'm so into all that and um yeah, and spending time with my family. I'm very family oriented, like very family oriented. So, family is everything to me. So, during this quarantine, I'm just with my family at home and it's just like, yes. Like I love spending time with them, especially um my nephew. He is so funny and he, literally like he's at that age where everything he does or like he does random stuff that are, we just start cracking up like he's so random and funny and i think he's getting his little um personality and everything and he's just hilarious so what i'm doing is just going under my cheekbone like this and just going in circular motions as well 
and then just bring it to the top of the temple so I could like lift it up not like so you could get so it could show off the illusion that you have big cheekbones or like you know so that's what I'm doing and I'm going circular motions again like this and this brush I didn't even tell you guys it's by Coastal Scents um you can't really I've had this brush for so long that the actually number it's already erased so I can't tell you guys exactly what brush I'm using but it's from Coastal Scents um so Ophelia asked and she's the one that runs this whole um, page on YouTube um, she asked me what inspired you to start YouTube so actually um, I've always watched my mom um, I've always watched her do her makeup and literally um, one day I think I was how old was I? I think I was like 14 or 15. I'm not exactly sure how old I was. But she was like, Steph, why, why don't you try eyeliner? Or, you know, like you should try it. And then I was like, no, like I don't want to try it and whatever. She And she literally made me. And I was like, I was like, okay, I'll just like um, put on eyeliner so it's just the bottom eyeliner and I was like I like it oh my god like I look different and whatever and after that I just started experimenting I started looking at her do her makeup and then I was like blown away I was like oh my god it's so crazy how you could transform your face with makeup you know so then um I found out about YouTube and then I was like just started watching youtubers and like how to do this how to do cut crease how to blend and what brushes i needed like everything like literally youtube taught me how to do my makeup besides my mom but i also learned more from youtubers i used to watch carly carly bible a lot she was the first person that i found out about that does makeup and then i was like super blown away and Everything she recommended like to get I would get because I was like, oh my god, I want to do my makeup like her So um, that's one of the first youtubers I ever okay So now I'm getting this little brush and applying bronzer, but contouring my nose because I always contour my nose so then um, After that I was like, you know what? I should start my YouTube channel because a lot of it got to a point where I got really good i'm not saying i'm really good but good at doing makeup that a lot of people would compliment me and they were like oh my god how do you do this how do you do your eyeliner and all this so to answer everybody's questions of how i do it i just decided to do a youtube channel and i was like oh my god so that way i don't have to explain individually of how i do stuff and just do a youtube channel so everybody could watch it so that is what inspired me to do my YouTube channel and also um, she asked where do you see yourself in five years with your YouTube channel so it's hard to like imagine myself of what I'm gonna be doing with my YouTube channel I hope I'm still doing YouTube which because I love YouTube I love and that's my dream like to be a youtuber and help people out and help my family out and just have a lot of people relate to me and help them in whatever I can like that's just my dream in YouTube so if I would say that what would I do in five years what I would be doing in five years then I would hopefully be more successful on YouTube um, have more YouTube friends more opp opportunities from YouTube um, and maybe have a boyfriend I don't know she also asked if you can travel anywhere where would it be um, I actually always wanted to um, 
go to Hawaii. I don't know why, but literally, since I was small, I always wanted to, you know, um, go to Hawaii. And I, I never seen clear blue water ever in my whole entire life. Like, have a beach that's super clear. I never seen that in my whole entire life. So, I would love to go to Hawaii. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I actually use the Jaclyn Hill palette for blush. I know um, a lot of girls, I don't have a lot of options for blush, but I really like this um, peachy color eyeshadow. And you could also use eyeshadow as blush, that's what I do. And I tap the thing because you don't want to have a lot of blush. And then just... I literally just go on the apple of my cheeks and then swipe up like going with the contour so it could blend in because okay okay and then I have another question by Cindy um what what made you okay I already answered that um what makeup artist inspires you so I would say um, what do I watch I still watch Carly by law I watch Nikki tutorials she's I like her she always does different stuff on her YouTube channel it's not just natural looks it's colorful looks it's everything she does everything literally so I try to learn as best as I can from her and also Jaclyn Hill I also watch her so much um, but lately she hasn't been uploading like that so um, but yeah I usually um, watch them when did you start liking makeup so I started liking makeup so I'm gonna go ahead and use this banana powder to clean up this and just make it look more snatched like okay so I use a dry beauty vendor and I just dab some of this powder on and then I just literally go from here all the way to my mouth like that to look snatched then I that's the only thing I bake with like I literally don't bake at all because I really don't bake that much because um I have really dry skin so when you bake your face for too long it looks super dry and I hate that so I try not to bake and go overboard but um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyeshadow did you start liking makeup so i started liking makeup like i told you guys when my mom um she told me to try eyeliner so then i just told her like of course i was like what 14 15 so i would literally beg her to um buy me makeup palettes because i got so into makeup so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the soft glam palette because it actually has some bronzy colors that i would love to work with so therefore um i'm gonna go ahead and go with um burnt orange first and then i'm gonna go ahead and with this fluffy brush and then um like i was saying um i would literally beg my mom for makeup palettes and i was like oh my god like i want this i want that and you know of course like i had to do my chores before i got something she's like okay you clean this or you clean this and then i'll buy you your makeup palette that you want so yeah that's how i started liking makeup 
we're gonna go ahead and just keep applying burnt orange on the lid and of course just go in circular motions like so let me zoom you guys in a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm doing okay so I'm just getting burnt orange and literally just applying it on my crease in circular motions and I don't want this bronzy look to look super super um, dark just super bronzy so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to this eye Okay, so with another fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead and go with Sienna. And I'm going to go ahead and just apply it on my creams, but not go too high with it. And then go with the other brush and just blend it in because you don't want no harsh lines don't mind my eyebrows I haven't done them in a while I'm trying to out I'm trying to grow them out now that we're in quarantine and we don't have to go out so I could you know once this quarantine thing is over I could go ahead and go wax them and have a new shape because I've just been doing them myself, but now I'm like, oh, you know what, I'm going to just grow them out and see what happens. But now I'm going to go ahead and get this a fluffy brush and I'm going to go ahead and apply Cypress umber and it's like a darkish brown and I'm just gonna do this in the outer corner but just a little bit because I don't want to go too overboard and just go here in the outer corner and go circular motion like that just a little bit I don't want a lot and then do the same with this eye Okay, and then now I'm gonna get this a color named bronze. This one right here. And I'm gonna add that on my lid. Because and then I'm gonna just go ahead and apply with my finger because sometimes when you apply shimmer colors with your finger, it applies better. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this on my finger and just Wipe down like this. And just keep applying till you reach how you want it to look. And I usually just apply it halfway and I leave this dark part. So it could look like this and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this eye so that's how it's supposed to look it's really bronzy then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the color sienna and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this fluffy brush and just grab sienna and go ahead and do this in the bottom
like so and then i don't want to add a darker color in the bottom i want it to look super light and bronzy so then i'm gonna go ahead and grab this color called glistening and then i'm gonna put that in my or inner corner so everything just gets has a pop to it so like that then i'm gonna add some more on my the tip of my nose That. I love to add highlight in the tip of my nose because it just brings it everything together. Sometimes I like eyeshadows to be my highlights, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna grab still glistening and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on the top of my cheeks so I can go for that glowy look. So I'm going to go ahead and um, use this brush from Real Techniques and it's called Setting Brush but I use it for, um, I use it for highlight. Well, I don't like to apply a lot of highlight because I'm not the highlight type of girl but I do like a little bit of highlight every now and then especially with this bronzy look i just want it to be look super glowy and bronzy so i'm gonna go ahead and grab glistening in this brush and just apply it on the top of my cheek and then bring it around here So you see that glow? Oh my god. Who said you need a highlight? You don't need a highlight, honey. You need eyeshadows and you're fine. Okay, you guys. So I already went ahead and applied my lashes and mascara. So now I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this uh, Lime Crime. It doesn't have a number because, or name, because the little sticky thing from the bottom is not there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and align my lips with this. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the inside with Leon from NYX um, Soft Matte Cream. So it should look like this and then to finish off this look so it should look like this super glowy i love it okay so now to finish off this look i'm gonna go ahead and use this morphe setting mist and just spray it on your face And it feels so good. It smells so good also. Oh my god. And you see how that highlight just pops. Okay you guys. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned this 
bronzy look and i hope you guys liked it um again and i can't ask you guys this enough please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that little bell next to it to get notified every time i upload a new video and um i was gonna say that if you guys are a small youtuber and you guys are watching me then i would like to invite you guys to the facebook page um that i'm in and it's for small youtubers and you guys are more than welcome to join um i'll leave the page right here so you guys could go ahead and join and just join us we all support each other we all like um all of us subscribe to each other like it's just great and it's like a small community of small youtubers so um but yeah with that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye